It's uh, this question, building cost. If it's more expensive or less expensive to build low energy houses, to build passive houses or to build active houses, zero energy or plus energy houses. You can see it from uh, two sides. Of course, a single consumer investor has to see his daily day cost. And on the other hand, there's a society. The society has cost for living, uh, expenses for the healthiness of people, expenses for protecting the environment. If you see it from the second point of view, it's very clear, it's much cheaper to build passive houses, to build zero energy houses, because it's avoiding environmental problems, it's avoiding environmental pollution, it's avoiding extremely costs for environmental problem or health problems like uh, dust and so on. Therefore it's very clear in general and in seen in a, a wider perspective it's much cheaper to build zero energy houses or passive houses. For the single investor or so it might be some more cost. It's very clearly uh, 20 centimeters of insulation are more expensive than 10 and 30 more than 20 centimeters. A triple class is more expensive than a single class. Uh, but it's interesting because now with a higher number of passive houses in social housing we have even statistics about the cost and we can see the tendency as small as the houses are Going to one family house, the passive house in the investment is more expensive. It goes up 7%, 5%, perhaps 10% in small houses. But as the houses are becoming bigger, there are stronger influences than having a low energy house or a passive house. And we even have some passive houses which are cheaper in the investment than some low energy houses in uh, big volume houses. The tendency is if it gets bigger, 100 units or so on, then the difference becomes very small. And the difference, the cost, is not so much dependent on passive house technology. There are other things which are more important in bigger houses. So the difference is uh, very small in these bigger houses.